Anna Goes to Washington D.C. by Rene Colato Leines, illustrated by Angela Dominguez. We are in Washington D.C. It is the capital of the United States," said Anna to Mama and her little sister Sarah. Anna ran and hugged her tia Luisa and said, "I cannot wait to visit the historic places." The next morning, Anna and Sarah were holding a large map. Look, Sarah, we will visit all these places. Tia Luisa and Mama waved American flags. They gave flags to Anna and Sarah. Anna opened the front door and said, "Ready, set, let's go." This is the National Mall, Tia Luisa said. I don't see any stores, Sarah said. There are no stores here, Tia Luisa replied. Sarah turned around and around and said, "I get it. Instead of stores, this mall has historic buildings." What is this tall building? Asked Anna. It looks like a giant number one, Sarah said. This is the Washington Monument, Tia Luisa said. It was built to honor the first president or leader of the United States, George Washington. Mama opened her purse. Look, his face is on the dollar bill and the quarter. Anna cried. Who is this tall man sitting on that big chair? Anna asked. He is Abraham Lincoln, our sixteenth president. He ended slavery and helped keep the United States together. Tia Luisa said. He is also on the pennies that Sarah and I put inside our piggy banks. Anna said. Who lives in this beautiful house? Anna asked. The president of the United States lives in the White House. Tia Luisa said. Can we knock and say hello? Anna and Sarah asked. The president is a busy person. Tia Luisa said. But I have tickets to get inside. Yes," said everyone. "This building is bigger than my whole school," Anna said. "It is the Capitol building. They make laws here," Tia Luisa said. "Are laws like school rules?" Anna asked. Tia Luisa and Mama nodded. "We need to follow rules, or we will get in trouble," Anna said to Sarah. "Look, there are also statues sitting on chairs here," Anna pointed at them. This is the Supreme Court," the Eloisa said. "When people do not agree, the Supreme Court decides what is fair. The Supreme Court is like a teacher. Teachers talk to children when they argue," Anna said. "Welcome to the Library of Congress," the Eloisa said. "There are so many beautiful books here," said Anna. "I love to read books," to Sarah. "Almost all the books published in the United States are here." Tia Luisa said, "I would love to read them all one day." Anna said. Tia Luisa and Mama smiled. They went back to the National Mall and walked across Independence Avenue. Look, I know the man in the statue. Anna said, "He is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and he had a dream for everyone to be treated fairly. This is his memorial." Tia Luisa said. I will work for my dreams too," Anna said. Anna and her family walked among among the flowering cherry trees. Look at the beautiful cherry blossoms," Anna said. "These trees are a gift from Japan to celebrate the friendship between our two countries," Tia Luisa said. They sat down and watched the paddle boats go by. Anna hugged Tia Luisa and said. Thank you for this wonderful day. I will never forget it.